let's take a look at our example research essay. One thing you'll notice, the format's the same, Times New Roman, double space, 12 font, one inch margins, no title page with MLA, no title page. Here we have title that reflects the essay's content, important. Now, this first paragraph is going to be my introduction. What's gonna happen here? This is gonna be a tell paragraph. What makes sure the reader knows the purpose in the paper, my main idea, and since this is an argument, I need to include some background information so the reader has some foundational knowledge to work with so I can help to persuade the reader. And then of course, I want to end with my thesis statement. So here we go. Few today deny the problem of too many white-tailed deer, period. You'll notice there's no citation. What does that mean? That came from me. So will every sentence in your research essay be documented? No, it won't. Before Europeans settled America, deer populations were controlled by natural predators. However, with increased settlement, early Americans killed the deer's natural predators. So you'll notice all that came from me, my knowledge, right? You're gonna know something about your topic because that, that's why you picked it. So you don't have to cite every single sentence in your research essay. In fact, if you are citing every single sentence, that is not a research essay. All you're doing is copy paste. That's not the goal here. Then with the growth of cities, the white-tailed deer became scarce. So later generations began stocking herds of white-tailed deer. So now here I have, my citation. So I'm going to highlight this just for a visual here. So that's author page number. And there's no quotation marks. So this is a paraphrase. This is something I didn't know. Right? The early Americans were going through and then they were killing the deer's predators and they started to hunt deer and the deer became scarce with cities and everything. So what did people do? They stocked herds of white-tailed deer. So why are there so many deer around? Because human beings cause this problem. This is our problem. That's important to, to know for my argument. Today, decades later, states are experiencing deer populations that cause overgrazing starvation and increased contact with humans. No citation, me, my thoughts, my words. Although options regarding the white-tailed deer problem exist, hunting is the clear solution. What is this? This is my main idea. Notice, right, the title reflects what? My purpose in writing, the main idea. Then again, I want to end with my thesis. While it may be controversial to some, hunting should be allowed and encouraged because it controls an increasing population that harms the deers in our environment. In addition, hunting is a better option than other control methods. That came from what? We've seen this before. Yeah, just follow the steps, it'll be so much easier. While deer populations increase, the deer damage their natural environment by overgrazing ground plants, destroying natural vegetation that other animals eat, and some, such as reptiles and small birds, uses protection from predators. In natural ecosystems, the damage is noticeable and wide range. Frank Kuznick writes, what's that? That is, a signal phrase. 
So I'm going to highlight this just as before, highlight my research. Of deer damage south of Columbus, Ohio, that the wildflowers vanished, as did most of the ground cover, a total of more than 150 plant species. Bereft of habitat, small mammals, reptiles, and ground nesting birds fled. Even predators such as owls disappear. Here's something important. Remember before we talked about editing? Long quotes. This is important. Don't let a quote take over a paragraph. Use the dot, 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 where it shows you went in and cut out, or turn it into a paraphrase. You'll notice this does not have page number, why it came from a database article. Thus, while deer populations increase, other animal populations decrease as plant life is destroyed. So what do I do? I have research and then I go in and I discuss it. I tell its importance. Further information, further infinite you know, evidence, excuse me, of the damage is shown by Ray Schwartz, Superintendent of Conservation for Cook County, Illinois. What's that? Signal phrase. So I'm gonna highlight my research again. Who said a forest preserve district, so here again, just as before, direct quote, was devastated. What do we see? Dot, dot, dot. That quote was really long. I, you can't let it take over your paragraph. You have to edit. It's called, by the way, that dot, dot, dot is called an ellipse. Understory was completely gone. And one place of several acres, we went from 102 woodland plants to four. Then what do I have? My concluding sentence, which I had already written when I did my outline. So all that I'm doing is I'm taking those different pieces and putting them together. Now I move to the next paragraph, which I already have that topic sentence done, right? From my outline. After their natural foods are gone, deer are forced to find new food sources, encounter humans, and continue to cause harm. Deer forage farmers' crops, eating soybeans and corn, resulting in lost revenue. There's no citation there. That's what I know, and you know, everybody knows, right? After deer eat everything in the forest, they start walking around, and they go into fields, and they eat the plants the farmers have that we're supposed to eat. That's not deer food, that's our food. John Monk, a news columnist, here we go again, reports a recent Clemson University study appraised crop damage in South Carolina to be $53 million. What is that? Remember what that's called? That's called a signal phrase. What do I have here? This is a paraphrase. This is not a direct quote. So I have the author named here, and that's why the author is not found at the end. Remember, author at the beginning doesn't need to be at the end. This occurs because deer have overpopulated their habitat and must eat crops to survive. In addition, traveling deer cause accidents, which we all know, that kill some drivers while causing expensive automobile repairs, right? So if you think about it, here I have a claim. Now what do I have to do? I have to have research to support it. For example, in South Carolina, between 2017 and 2020, 14,564 deer collisions were reported. As the average cost of repairs for each deer-related collision was $2,095, the total cost was more 
than three million dollars. Wow, what's the significance of that? So now I'm going to discuss it. This causes higher insurance premiums for all drivers and even fatalities. And remember, I have my concluding sentence already done. It's on my outline. That's the document that I'm working with. So we're just pulling the pieces together. And we'll take a look at the third body paragraph and the conclusion in the next lecture.